page 32 talks about writing linear equations given uh, the slope and the y-intercept. Now you'll have to remember this equation y equals mx plus b and all you're doing is literally plugging in we know that m and slope are the same thing and we know that b and the y-intercept are the same thing and all you're doing is literally plugging in so y equals one-third x minus five now if that would have been a positive five we would have put plus five just a little side note you guys don't for some reason some of y'all do not remember that the slope is a number in front of x so it includes the sign so our slope on this one would be negative seven and that's just a little side note. Alright, inside it just basically gives you the verbal description of what we just did. It says write the equation of a line in slope intercept form that has a slope of one third and a y intercept of negative five. Our y intercept is negative five, our slope is one third. All we're doing is plugging in. This is writing the equation based off of a graph. Now, y'all have talked about the y-intercept. The y-intercept on this is negative 1. And so if you look here, this is negative 1. You can also write it 0, negative 1. So that's our y-intercept. So our y-intercept is negative 1. We know that this is a negative slope. I'm going to keep hammering this in, positive and negative. A lot of y'all missed this on your CBA. This is a negative slope. I'm going up 1, 2 units and over 5. That's where she got the, the 2 thirds, and it was negative because of the way the line is slanting. So we put the all of this together we get y equals negative 2 over 5 x minus 1 your verbal description y'all are actually really good at doing the verbal descriptions um, so when a tow truck is called the cost C of M which you guys crossed out and said that it was Y which is fine of the service is ten dollars plus one mile uh, one dollar per mile M so that cost uh, the car must be towed right an equation in slope intercept form that represents the situation so as you guys have noted here Remember, f of x is equal to y. They're the same, same exact thing. Um, here, instead of using f of x, they used c of m. Um, and then instead of x, they used m. So we're used to writing it in this form, y equals mx plus b, where y would equal um, 1x plus 10. And then what y'all did is y'all used it using these letters. So since C of M is equal to Y, we said C of M is equal to and then M plus 10. That M does not represent that M. That, that M represents the miles. And then the last part on this section was writing the equation given um, two points and then a point and a slope so I believe what she did with y'all is she made y'all do this um, chart and I'm gonna go ahead and do it all over again so that you guys can see So this is x and this is y, so negative 1, 7, and 3, and negative 1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use 
that equation. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to figure out what the slope is. So remember the slope is the change in y over the change in x. So to get from 7 to negative 1, that's a negative change of 8. And to get from negative 1 to 3, that's a positive change of 4. So how did we get... <clears throat> How did we get negative 2 as our slope? Well, the change in y over the change in x is negative 8 over 4, which is just negative 2. So now we're going to plug this in. So negative 2. I'm going to use this point. So negative 1 plus b equals 7. So this is 2 plus b. So 2 plus what will give me 7? So this is where she said, let's put that 7 right there. So how would I get 7? Well, you subtract 2 or you subtract 2, and then that zeroes out. So b is equal to 5. So then you use the information you're given. Here's your b, here's your m, and you're plugging it into the equation y equals negative 2x plus 5. And that's the equation that they wanted. And that's the same thing y'all got. Okay, same thing on this one. This time, instead of finding the, the slope, they give you the slope. So, here's x. mx plus b, there's y, so my m is 3, my x is negative 3, plus b is equal to negative 2, because we want it to equal that negative 2. So 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So we're going to add 9 to both sides. So b is equal to 7. So our equation should be y equals 3x plus 7. And there was a little bit of a mistake right there. So this should have been a positive 7.